Uh, okay, so now we are going to uh, consider the chapter on uh, finance. And uh, as I told you, um, that finance is the function of arranging uh, and planning for uh, future cash requirements, uh, future requirements of uh, finance, and then arranging for that. Now, please do keep in mind that when you are bringing in finance, you have two main options of uh, where to get the money from, where to get the finance from. Uh, the first option is that you can um, use your own resources. You can bring money from within. Okay, so that is the internal source of finance. And then there is there are external sources of finance. Now, if you're talking about internal source of finance, then you can uh, then you are talking about uh, getting money from the retained earnings. Of course, that is assuming that this is a uh, limited company. Uh, if it's a, a partnership or a sole trader, then you can get money from your personal savings or from your friends. When you are talking about external sources of finance, and please do keep in mind that in this situation, we will we will look at things from the point of view of the most uh, advanced form of uh, business, which is the limited companies so external sources of finance when you talk about the new you you talk about uh, the terms whether you're going to use long term source short term source or medium term source of finance so please do keep in mind that these the two main divisions are internal and external and then within external we have we have three divisions mainly depending upon the term and within these terms, then you are going to look into whether uh, the financing will be debt financing or it will be equity financing, whether you are going to uh, borrow money uh, uh, and uh, you have to return it or it's going to be your own money. Of course, this distinction comes only in the long term finance in the short term and the medium term. It's mostly to do with borrowing. So uh, why do you need finance? Why do com companies need finance? Companies need finance at each and every stage or businesses need finance in each and every stage from the startup stage to the operational stage to the marketing to the working capital. You require um, uh, this uh, uh, the finance through and through. Uh, when you talk about expenditure, please do keep in mind there are two types of expenditures. One is capital expenditure, the other is revenue expenditure. Revenue expenditure is the day-to-day -day expenses of the business. For example, uh, electricity charges, uh, salaries. Now these go, electricity is used for what? For the production of, of the goods which will be sold and after you sell them, you're going to earn revenue. So you are going to pay for such charges from the revenue that you earn in the current period. You are not going to pay for electricity from your long term uh, savings uh, money, which you, uh, you have put aside. Uh, that's not that, that's not uh, where you're going to pay from. You're not going to pay it from your term deposit or from your long-term bank savings. You're going to pay it from the current revenues that you earn. Therefore, these day-to-day -day expenses are also called revenue expenditure. Uh, yes, um, uh, if you are making a big investment in a new business venture, now that is not something that you can pay from your current sales. That is something that will come either from your savings or from uh, borrowing. So uh, the money that you invest in long term durable assets like factories, uh, trucks, cranes, th this is first and foremost, this is not recurring expenditure. It's not uh, it's not day to day expenditure. It happens once in after a long period of time. And this is not paid from the current revenues. This usually comes from the savings so this is called capital expenditure when you talk about capital expenditure and there's working capital working capital is the day-to-day -day expenses uh, of the business the running finance and it is calculated by the formula current assets minus current liabilities and then there is another term called liquidity liquidity and liquidation should be uh, differentiated liquidity is the possession of uh, cash or near cash assets with which you can pay off your debts. Liquidation, on the other hand, is 
when the business fails it does not trade it or let's say it goes bankrupt then you sell off the assets of the business and they are converted into cash so the different businesses have different requirements of working capital okay uh, the working capital is uh, should be there uh, to prevent the business from becoming illiquid from preventing the business from going bust from preventing the business from going bankrupt uh, it depends on how much credit you've given if you've given more credit you require more uh, working capital so the, these are these are the various things uh, uh, related to working capital now as i told you where does the finance come from when you are talking about the internal sources of finance you're mainly talking about uh, three things either you sell off a current uh, 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 an asset which has which, is, which you already have or you draw down your current assets you you reduce your working capital or you use your retained earnings so if you have a big building you can sell it and take out money if you uh, if you uh, uh, have uh, working capital stocks let's say you have a lot of stock uh, or inventory then you can reduce that inventory and if let's say the inventory is uh, worth 2 million you reduce it you bring it down to 500000 what do you have 1.5 million you have in uh, in, in uh, cash so your liquidity goes up so please keep in mind internal sources of finance are easy uh, they are in a sense costless and uh, they uh, they have the main advantage that uh, they can be done quickly and without um, any loss of control from the original owner. However, uh, sometimes they may not be enough. How many buildings are you going to sell? How much uh, working capital are you going to draw down on? So sometimes businesses need external sources of finance. Now, when you're talking about external sources of finance, I told you the term is important. How long? For how long are you going to borrow? You will either have short-term source of finance. What is included in short-term source of finance? Bank overdraft, creditors, uh, debt, or, uh, or, or something which is called factoring. So I'll quickly go over that. Quickly, uh, a bank overdraft means that when you have your own bank account and you overdraw on it. Now that is done as part of an agreement, okay? Um, what does that mean? It means that I have, um, let's say I have $10,000 in my account and I write a check of $15,000. Now this can only happen if there's a prior agreement. I write a check of $15,000. Uh, now there are two things that can happen. One is that, that my check is not honored. My check bounces. My check is uh, rejected by the bank. They will say, that, look, how can you pay 15,000 when you only have 10,000 left in your account. So that is one thing. The other option can be that um, I have a prior agreement with the bank that look, if I write a check up to 10,000 more than what I have in my account, then you are going to honor the check. So what will they do? They are going to take out 10,000, which is in my account already, pay it to the person to whom I want to pay. And then 5,000, which is the extra, they will pay also at that moment and they will, that 5,000 becomes a short-term loan to me, like a short-term loan to me. So this is called overdraft. I overdraw my own account. That 5,000 becomes a debt and on that 5,000, the bank is going to charge a very high rate of interest. So this needs to be returned very quickly. Then I, then I said there's another thing called debt factoring. Debt factoring simply means that I have a debtor, let's say $1,000 worth of debtors, and uh, they're going to pay me after 60 days, but I need the money today. So what I do is I sell my debtor to another person. I, I go to another firm. That firm is called the factor. They will factor the debtor into their account, take it from my account. They will give me... Uh, some money against those that 1000 please keep in mind they are not going to give me full 1000 my debtor becomes their debtor they are going to make the collection after 60 days from the debtor they will give me 900 dollars 
okay and after 60 days they will receive full uh, 1000 uh, a full uh, 1000 dollars from uh, that particular data all right so this is called debt factoring all right so uh, uh, i will continue with this discussion.